Welcome on in, everybody, to another episode of Same But Different. Here we go. Yeah. Start the uh, show. Oh, uh, yeah. I was hoping you were going to commit, but here we are. I'm Brody, here with my brother and co-host, Derek, where we are reviewing movies every single week. If you don't know that, you should know that. How are you here if you didn't know that? And I know you know that I know you. This week, we are reviewing Not Bob Marley. Mm. We were supposed to review Bob Marley, One Love, oh, or One Love, Bob Marley, who knows, but I had difficulties getting to the theater, and then when Derek got there, it was sold out anyway, so we didn't end up watching that. But it is Black History Month, so we flipped the script, and we watched The Haunted Mansion, the 2023 <laughs> Haunted Mansion. <laughs> Wildly different. We're, we're trying to go for newer movies in general. Um, Haunted Mansion is black made, and the, I wanted to see it, and I hadn't yet, so we watched that, so... Let's hop into the review. Derek, tell us what you thought. Well, first of all, this movie absolutely got shit on when it got re released. It so did. many bad reviews, so many credible sources just saying how awful it is. And you know what this proves to me? This proves to me that people have forgotten how to have fun at the movies. Because, yeah, it was yeah. it was cheese. There was cheese dialogue. There was cheese acting. There were cheese... Just scenes in general, cheese graphics. Sure. Jeez. Yeah. But it was fun. It was a fun movie. And I can't say that it's a bad movie if I had fun with it, you know? And I just don't yeah. think that it just... I don't think it deserved all the crap it got because we have these sticklers of critics going into a movie like this, which is intended to just be a fun time and ripping it apart on any technical level that they've been taught in their one class of film college, you know, get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention, this movie was funny at times. There were a lot of jokes that didn't land. Maybe because, yeah, I was riding that fence of trying to be for the whole family and also actually a child's movie. But a lot of the jokes were really funny. Some of them I laughed out loud. Every character in this, whether it be that little moment with Owen Wilson or Tiffany Haddish having a moment of doubt of how good she is at what she does or if she has the stuff to do it every character in this movie had a flaw or a fault in some way and i think that was really special in a movie that didn't need that all that good stuff that being said i can see a little bit why the critics went in here and just tore it to shreds there are things with the movie specifically that i was like oh well that could have been better for sure it was incredibly predictable within the first half hour of the movie i guessed every story beat didn't expect this movie to be something mind-bending and and keep me guessing at every turn but also give me something to be surprised about i got a surprise for you it was exposition heavy so many times <laughs> yeah. a character would sit down and just explain everything most notably i think it was danny devito's character explaining the backstory and the history of jared leto's villain character and it, there was like animation going on for some reason but i really think the movie would have been stronger if we got that explanation at the beginning like that was the opening scene of the movie oh uh... not in animation like actually acted out so we see the story, a tell don't show moment in that movie, and it should mm. have been the opposite. I think that should have been the opening scene of the movie because my next point is that little kid and Rosario Dawson's character, completely pointless, could have been taken out of the movie and the movie would not have changed, <laughs> which is unfortunate. Okay. I mean, they added some humanness to it, I guess, because they're just normal people for what they brought to the film as far as characters and their purpose, pointless. Because, yeah, the kid was like that willing sacrifice with his dead dad at first, but then it immediately turned into Lakeith Stanfield's character as the willing sacrifice, wanting to go to see mm -hmm. his wife, which I thought was the way better storyline. The final showdown, they tried to have this big, huge, epic ghost uh, showdown, but nothing really happened. All the ghosts showed up and walked around chasing Owen Wilson's character, and everything was solved with words. Ghosts are reasonable people. <laughs> 
Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Uh, I guess, but it was really like even Owen Wells' character gave them a little pep talk and they got turned around. Tiffany Haddish's character kind of just like talked to um, Jamie Lee Curtis's character and got her to come help. Even mm -hmm. Lakeith Stanfield at the end talking to Jared Leto. There was no battle. He just stood there and talked to him the whole time. Nothing happened. You can't kill ghosts. That was a funny line too with Owen Wilson. He's like, well, they're going to be more dead or whatever. <laughs> it's not a great film, but it's fun. So I gave it uh, a solid six out of 10. Six crystal balls out of 10. Nice. Nailed it. Yeah. Got it. Like it. I thought it was really cool how they revealed the way the hauntings worked as the movie. Like she, where she first said every time she goes through that hallway, she gets a sharp pain in both her sides. Mm -hmm. And then later you find out that's where the brothers are dueling and shooting. Like that was yes. cool. Yes. You're revealing that to me right now. I didn't even catch that. So I agree with you. Your review is my review. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. Okay, all right. Signing off. Let's go. The movie was fun. I also think this movie made a point not to have an overall message or like shove any kind of agenda down your throat. And that was a nice change of pace just to sit back and have fun. I just feel like people forgot how to have fun in movie theaters. And this one brought back that feel. Yeah. I think the best part of this movie was the script. Oh, is that weird? Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Well, specifically the humor, the outright boisterous attempts at humor they weren't very funny mm -hmm. i don't think mm -hmm. there were often really sharp dialogue heavy quips back and forth between the characters that were way funnier mm -hmm. than i than i thought the movie was going to be i wish i had examples rosario dawson's like this place isn't haunted and then the knight shows up behind the boy and she doesn't even react she's just like we're leaving <laughs> <laughs> yeah like lakeith had a few because lakeith is brilliant and i oh. really thought the when they got the sketch drawn of uh, the guy later and it was just a ghost guy and they're like alright can we add some skin to that and then they, he did and they were all what what it was like one liners but without them being notable mm -hmm. it was just very well done in that regard mm -hmm. I can see why some people might watch this and think that the acting was off or cheesy and it was on purpose because mm -hmm. this movie was based on a, a ride the whole movie felt like I was on that ride at Disneyland like if I wanted anybody to know what going on that ride feels mm -hmm. like it's this movie. I don't think the cheesy acting or exaggerating or anything ever took away from it just being fun because that's it was just fun. Mm -hmm. fun, 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 fun. I think I'd watch literally anything with Lakeith Stanfield. I love that man. Oh yeah. I typically don't like Tiffany Haddish, and it was good and refreshing to see her in a role where she's not Tiffany Haddish for once. Yeah, she had her isms for sure, and she always will. But. She was a likable character. She was different than she normally is. And I think she did a decent job. Agreed. Yeah, absolutely. Owen Wilson, great as always. But him and Rosario Dawson, I found, they both did a great job in this movie. But they could have been anybody. Mm. It didn't really didn't really make a difference to me. Yeah. And everyone likes Danny DeVito. I mean, I'd watch that man talk <laughs> about history. Actually, that'd be great. <laughs> well, now it's just, he, he's Frank. I'm going to whip this little bitch in the face if she makes a peep. That's like, that's all that really is to say about this movie. It wasn't a movie with a lot of substance. It tried to tackle love and grief and some heavier topics, but it just kind of felt out of place in a movie like this. It didn't really land. Making him an astrophysicist, there was so much weight on that at the beginning, and mm. then it really didn't matter. He could have been any career. It didn't matter at all. Could have brought out cool gadgets throughout the movie that he was like tinkering with over the years for his wife or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Go, go, gadget chopper. <laughs> I was really excited for a cool score based on the ride. I was excited, but the, honestly, the music was pretty lackluster. Not one single piece of the score stood out to me, and that's kind of unfortunate. Ultimately, I think this movie's forgettable. Get fucked! But I think it was fun. I had a good time with this. I don't know if I'll, I probably won't revisit it. I enjoyed it. It was a little longer than it had to be, but it didn't really ever drag. So it's like you looked into the crystal ball. And saw that I gave it a 6 out of 10 oh, as well. Okay. It just shut your brain off and have a good time. Don't listen to the critics. Whatever. Watch it at Halloween time. Mm -hmm. If you're too scared of horror movies, but you kind of want to like them, yeah. this is the one. Decent flick. We had fun with it. Mm -hmm. Have you seen it? Did you like it? Did you agree with all the critics who shat all over it? Tell us what you thought in the comments down below. Now, next week, we are moving into a new month. Not that we really do themes anymore. We kind of did for this month because it's a special month, but we're going to go back to just watching new movies and talking about them because that's what we like to do. And we are going to watch oh. The Beekeeper. Ooh, I've been actually weirdly excited about this, and I'm surprised you even suggested it. Brody's got a bee phobia. I know. Even the name scares me. Um... <laughs>
I'm gonna give it my best. It's probably gonna be a lot scarier than the Haunted Mansion for me. I'm hoping it, there's not that, I'm hoping that's his career and it's not a large focal point of the movie. I want him in his Jason Statham voice with the last like kill to be like, uh, that's it, honey. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be in there. Thank you for coming out and watching another episode. Come back next week, watch The Beekeeper and listen to us talk about it so then you can talk to us about it. Like, follow, subscribe, share. All that stuff. It just is the best and it gets us. <laughs> it, it gets us what? <laughs> Hard. <laughs> Why? You just committed to it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So do that. You think you're the queen bee? Buzz off. <laughs>